last video of 2021 let's go hi guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here hi hello how are you i am kara i like talking about makeup beauty and skincare today's video is all about my project pan finale it's the last update of my year-long project where i try to use up some of my makeup or try to hit pan on them super duper excited guys to wrap this project out I want to share also some of the hardships that I encountered, some of the wins. Project Pan is just some of the things that I do here in my channel where I try to curb my overspending habits because I really wasn't smart with money before and I'm trying to overcome that, trying to get out from that zone. I also do makeup and skincare reviews here in my channel, anything beauty related. And so if you're into that or going into a similar journey as I am, then I hope that you subscribe to my channel as well as click on the notification notification bell right beside it so that you get notified whenever I make new videos. Now let's get started. I can't believe it. 2021 is over. In just a few days, I'm not so sure when I'm gonna upload it, but ayon, I'm pretty sure that this is gonna be the last video that I will be filming for this year and also the last video that I will put out for 2021 and then we're up to new things for 2022. I have so many things planned out, so many things that I want to do and share with you guys and I hope that you would enjoy. Definitely a big change that is coming very soon so personally and also here with YouTube so I, I just can't wait to talk to you guys about it share it with you guys ganon so for the first portion of this video i will be sharing my progress yung end of the year progress call the finale was i able to hit on my goals for some of these items whether hit pan or use them up ganon and then after that i will be also sharing some of the challenges that i encountered with this year's project and what are the possible ways that i could improve my experience in doing this project in case i move forward with it next year so let's start first with the worst um, progress that I made for the project pan and this is the Laura Mercier uh, translucent loose setting powder I placed this powder in my project I think at the beginning of October if I'm not mistaken I basically use this as much as I can uh, from November until December and I don't think that I was able to track my progress in a good way That's why I wasn't really able to see how much progress I was using I placed the tape right here on the edge and I think the best way really to um, Track my progress is on the side because putting this flat right here hindi niya tala, hindi siya completely flat and therefore hindi ko gusto ng makikita masyado kung how big my progress is or not kasi i can never get it totally even like straight up and i decided to continue on with this labeling thinking that i would be able to make it work but i wasn't able to so i think moving on with loose powders or anything that lays flat like this i would just move like Ganito na lang yung pag track ng progress ko. But anyway, ever since I placed this in my project pan, I have been loving and using this product. I thought that I didn't need it um, with the AOA setting powder that I had, but I just fell in love with this product. So I'm so happy that I placed this in my project pan. I don't think that I will be able to repurchase this product again in some near future. Really, really expensive for me to sustain and keep on repurchasing kahit na matagal ko siya gagamitin. Ganun. Hindi ko lang talagang kaya mag-shell out ng 1,500 or 1,900. I don't know. Uh, basta parang 1,000 plus for a loose powder. Kahit na ga gaano siya kalaki. Ang dami ko lang din kasing powders in my collection right now. Not really in terms of the quantity, like how many actual powders do I have in my collection but in terms of uses matagal yon <laughs> marami sila I've used up a powder completely this year and it took me so long to finish it up so I know how far my loose powders could like stretch like gaano ko tagal silang magagamit I will enjoy using this until the end of this time next product that I had a bit of disappointment like I really tried to use this product especially dun sa later half ng December is this one. This is the Dear Self Beauty Clay Blush in the shade Audrey. I I am wearing this shade right now as a blush. Most of the time, I am using this product as a blush, but I really, really feel that I am almost there. I'm not so sure if I will put this in the project pan again. I have been really enjoying 
um, some of my products from before and I can't wait to like refresh my love for my uh, the other products that I have just been in the drawers for quite a while and ayun, gusto ko lang talaga marilive yung experience ko in using them just like the Laura Mercier translucent powder. Right now, I am still loving it. I'm still enjoying using it. I'm super duper excited to hit pan on this. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to reach it before the year end and it just puts into perspective how long it actually takes to use a blush like this. Tagal siya, in fairness. And so yeah, I, I am enjoying this one. I don't think that it's a bad product. I'm still loving it. Maybe just take a break for a while, but I am looking forward to hitting pan on this sometime maybe in the future. It's the Colorette Shimmer Tint in the shade Rose Quartz. Now, this one broke on me. Nabasag siya sometime. I'm not really sure when. And so I placed this in this small little container um, where I usually put my skincare. I just placed it temporarily here until the end of this year. Um, I wasn't able to use, I didn't use this product towards the end of December. I always kept on referencing the end of December. Um, that was the time kasi that I have traveled, stayed over at my partner's house to celebrate Christmas, and therefore I got like, you know, a small portion of my makeup collection to travel with me to their place para doon ako mag makeup makeup and I fell in love with some of the products that I placed here and hindi ko to sinama doon so definitely got used to some of my project pan items but not this one and I'm not really looking forward to using this anymore just because it's in this canister I actually missed yung doe foot applicator nung dun sa previous packaging niya kahit na fragile siya it just makes it more easier for me to use it when I'm not traveling alam mo yun I think I used it a couple of times before my trip to my partner's house. I still enjoyed it naman. It's just that I, I kind of enjoyed it less. We are now in the realm of very, very good progress. This one, I wasn't really able to hit my goal of using this product up, but I made such a huge, huge, huge progress that I am very sure that I will be able to use it up in a couple of weeks from now as of filming this. So this is the Cloche Flame Pre Restorative Facial Mist. I love this product so much. I almost placed this dun sa Best of Makeup ko na 2021 only to realize that it's actually not a makeup product. It's a skincare product that I sometimes use it in my makeup application but it's not technically a makeup product. Kung baga wala siya masyadong function sa pag makeup ko aside from just you know removing the powder you look on my face i've been using this throughout december and it has been a really really good tool for me to relax and just take my mind off things for a little while because the scent is just really relaxing it smells so good even my partner loves this i think i am spraying more than five sprays per use so, medyo marami-rami siya kasi ang sarap lang talaga ng spray niya sa mukha. This was also able to do a bit of, you know, skincare work sa aking face. I'm not expecting a big difference on the effects niya sa skincare ko, but so far, it has been a very, very nice mist talaga. As in, sobrang, sobrang nice. Not so sure if I will repurchase this after I finish this up. I still have a lot of facial mist to go through. Um, I might, I will definitely use the mister kasi maganda talaga yung um, spray thing niya. I hope that whoever purchased this during 12-12 loved it too or 11-11. Ayun, sobrang, sobrang nice. I, I, can't, I can't tell how much I love that product. Next up, na medyo significant ng progress is this one from our Issy & Co. Active Skin Tint. This is in the shade Fawn. This is the thing that I purchased during the first launch of Issy & Co. And this has been a wonderful, wonderful companion for my dry skin. I have been loving these types of products lately. Yung mga hindi masyadong foundation ni yung kanyang formula. It really feels like a tinted moisturizer on the skin and it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. December system, not really doing a lot of complexion product reviews. I finally was able to use this again. Can't wait to finish this up actually ever since I released the CSN ko ng bago na lang skin tint, you know, the one in the tube packaging. I think per use, gumagamit ako ng 2 to 4 pumps siya normally, but mostly 3. When this is organic, for example, hindi ko na ma pump. 
I'll just open it up and try to scrape up some of the product because I feel like pwede pa I'm not at all disappointed na hindi ko siya ganun ka na ubus because I love using this. <laughs> I, I just love using this. It doesn't feel like a chore using this product. Before we go into the products that are in my project pan that have exciting, exciting news, I just want to feature this product na hindi naman talaga siya sa project pan ko, but I had pan on this. This is the e.l.f. Um, highlighter in the Total Face Palette kasama ng bronzer that I will be talking about today. It's a beautiful product. I enjoyed using this as an overall finishing powder, also as a highlighter. Very gentle lang siya na highlighter, very inner, a lit from within kind of sheen. Unexpected siya to hit pan. Um, somewhat quite shallow pan, so medyo madali lang, but I'm still proud of myself at least. So that's it. A little commercial. Lang. Last three products to go. Na hit ko yung goal ko dito, guys. I'm so so happy that this day has finally come. And hit pan ko na ang aking dear self beauty, Brianna Clay Brow. Oh my gosh, this product has taken me so long to. Uh, hit pan on and I try to concentrate on this center. I have been enjoying using this. Uh, I, I usually pair this with my brow refiner Issy & Co and that made a huge difference. Before I was using this with my Brow Biz Brow Soap but medyo gusto ko low maintenance kind of brows right now. Pairing it with Issy & Co brow refiner instead gave me the motivation to use this. Siyempre sinama ko siya dun sa aking December um, makeup bag. <laughs> Sinasabi ko sa inyo kanina pa during this video. And ayan, I finally did it and I'm so proud of myself. Kahit na 5 grams ito, kahit na kaliit-liit lang na brow pomade na ito, guys, grabe. This is the proof na ganito talaga katagal gamitin ang brow pomade. My brows don't really need a lot of work. Konting konti lang talaga yung ginagawa ko dito and ayun, yun yung challenge niya basically for me. Second to the last, this was such an easy um, accomplishment actually. It's the Hyper Gleam uh, Hydrating Lip Gloss in the shade Candy Gloss. Andali ko lang talaga to na ubos. Eh, sobrang nakakadik talaga ng Hyper Gleam lip glosses, guys. They're that good. They're that silky. They're that shiny and comfortable to wear. Very nice effect on the lips. Also, simot na simot yan, guys. I removed the stopper. Wala na ako masadong makuhang product from this uh, container. Uh, the doe foot is almost dry and I kept on scraping the edges out and I'm officially calling it done. I love using products like this na talagang I actually love because nakaka-motivate lang siya every day. You know, you're excited to use the product and when you see your progress, it makes you even motivated to finish that product or hit your goal, whatever your goal is for that particular item. So lastly, of course, I finished up the bronzer. Ayan, sobrang love ko to. This is the e.l.f. Cosmetics Total Face Palette, yung bronzer nila na um, shade. Dinipot ko to. I used it, hit pan on it, repressed it, hit pan on it again, and now it's gone. Just the perfect color for me, and I'm gonna miss it definitely because the shade match was just so good. I don't think I will be purchasing the palette again just for this shade. I would be happy to keep the highlighter shade though, but the blush shades from that pan, I wouldn't use so 50% basically will go meet and so it's not worth it. Um, I'm sure I would find a shade that is close to this maybe. Completely empty, simot na simot yan. Although the, you will see a bit of product left on the pan but that's because of hard pan so hindi ko na talaga siya magagamit or matatanggal from the pan. But yeah. It's a huge, huge accomplishment for me. That is it. That's basically all the progress that I have for my project pan of 2021. Overall, I think that my project pan was a huge success in some ways and in some ways it's not. Successful in a way that I was able to hit pan on products. I was able to use up on products before they go bad. I think medyo marami siya. I went through my project pan actually in a playlist and plinay ko siya. Well, not really totally. I I tried to like fast forward lang to take note of how many items I actually hit pan, na ubos, ganyan. And I think there were a couple of products that I used up because I love them, ganon. I don't know, parang ang laking accomplishment lang kasi when I used up a product. I don't know, with the collection that I have right now, no? Parang it's so rare for me to use up a product just because I have so many choices. And then for the bad ones naman na in some ways hindi siya successful, I think it's because I used 
products again, like from last year. Ito na yung sinabi ko before, but I think I thought that I could do it again, but no, definitely not gonna use uh, products that I don't like. I'm not gonna put products that I don't like here in this project pan kasi talagang sobrang nakakainis siya and it feels like the project is a chore. Pipilitan lang ako. It's not really for me, I guess. Nakaka-consume din ako minsan dun sa goal na parang hindi ko na naman hit yung goal ko, hindi ko na hit yung goal ko ganyan. Using products that I actually love using removes that pressure away. Color red, color tint in the shade Jordan. Sobrang hindi ko talaga gusto yung gamitin na napipikon na ako whenever I try to use that product up. As in, it's not a good mindset for me na pinipilit ko yung sarili ko to use some products just for the sake of using them, just for the sake of this project. It takes out the fun from this project. I just want to find joy in the collection that I have. Um, understand my behavior and how I use product and realize how long it actually takes them to use up. Like, yun yung mga goals ko with this project pan. And using a product that doesn't really bring joy to me every time I use it just kills the whole purpose of this project. If I already have an inkling that I would not use it for the next months again, like I don't want to use it, I need to switch it out and replace it with something that I will use up. Because sayang, sayang yung place niya doon sa aking project. I hope that you guys have been enjoying this project. For me, it was so much better this year as compared to last year. I think last year I was doing like every month check-in and with this year I did like two months check-in lang and it was more manageable for me. It just gave me more freedom in terms of creativity and scheduling and management of time. I was able to put out more videos that I want to talk about. Don't get me wrong, it's not that I don't enjoy this project pan because sobrang fluent lang niya. Now it's taking up, you know, um, slots from my schedule. And also with this year, since puro makeup lang ako, I tried to do like a full face sort of routine. Like meron akong something for the brows, for the face, for the eyes. I think that's a good product mix para I could use them all up in one like look. Or I could just, you know, take some out, switch it up. With some of the products that I'm reviewing or not reviewing, parang wala akong product na two blushes, gano, diba? It's not like I could use two blushes at the same time. I can, but it's not like I will always use two blushes at the same time. Definitely next year, I will be doing a project pan. I'm so looking forward to that project. I have already been deciding, like, anong products na ilalagay ko dun sa project ko, anong twist ang ilalagay ko, what what things do I want to put in there? Like, I'm trying to plan about that project already, and I'm so, so excited for it because it's gonna coincide with my personal goals. I just want the project plan to supplement what my goal is for the whole channel next year. And so, ayon, I'm super duper excited for that video already, kahit na hindi pa 2022. I thought that you enjoyed my journey for. 2021 for this project pan. I'm so happy that most of you guys have been messaging me about your project pan, your journey about this, like yung how this project helped you reflect on your own personal um, consumption on makeup, how you buy, ganyan. So grateful for your feedback. Sobrang nakaka-motivate lang talaga siya, guys. This project planning and shop my stash is not me trying to convince you in doing this project also. But, you know, it's for you to decide whether or not this thing that I'm doing sa uh, YouTube um, is something for you also. So, ayon, if you have any questions about project planning or tips on how to do it, just ask below. And I will be so happy to answer them for you. So ayun guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I know that there are a lot of challenges and it's so hard to be in a cheerful mood right now. Especially if like you guys have you know had a lot of struggles this year. I hope that 2022 would be good for you. I hope that it will be kinder for you. A better year for you. And ayun, thank you so much for watching. Happy New Year. Much love. Bye-bye.